And with these famous words that most of us in the English-speaking world don't understand, Lou Diamond Phillips became a star, playing Richie Valens in the 1987 hit film La Bamba. A huge career followed, with films like Young Guns, which was as cool as they come when I was growing up. Many nights I put a blade to your throat while you were sleeping. Glad I never killed you, Steve. You're all right. Now, in what appears to be a pretty random pairing, Lou is joining Lisa McCune in the Roger and Hammerstein classic musical, The King and I. I Lou has actually played the role of the king before and in 1996 was nominated for a Tony Award. And one, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three. So you know this new show is going to rock. Well, maybe not rock, but it'll be a musical fan's dream. How do we know? Because Lou Diamond Phillips is the man. Lou Diamond Phillips is in the house. <laughs> Please welcome him, ladies and gentlemen. trip wasn't planned, was it? You weren't meant to be here. How did this come about? It was, well, they, they called, they said, we're opening a Krispy Kreme. <laughs> and, uh, oh, <laughs> I'm there. Uh, no, no, it wasn't planned at all. I mean, Jason Scott Lee was, uh, was you know, in, in the show uh, at first. He had an injury. They said, where the hell are we going to get another three named Asian? <laughs> And uh, next thing you know, there was somebody went, Lou Diamond Phillips. <laughs> and uh, they called, and I was literally filming uh, the last week of, of my uh, series Longmire, which also airs here in Australia with Australian Rob, uh, Rob, Rob Taylor, uh, who I adore. And I finished filming that on a Monday. I got back to Los Angeles on a Tuesday. God bless my wife, Yvonne. Uh, we got on a plane Thursday night and got here Saturday morning. So Well, crazy. we're loving having you here. I was reading today, so the Helpman Awards, which is the Australian sort of version of the Tonys, the nominations mm -hmm. came out last yes. night. King and I picked up 10. Are you taking credit for that? 100% credit. It's, yeah, it's the Lou Diamond effect. Yes. <laughs> it's like, you know, I am, I am a typhoon, and, uh, and uh, you can't help but get, you know, washed up in my spray. <laughs> Obviously, Lisa, uh, Shu Chin, uh, uh, Randy, uh, and, and the show itself, uh, it's just absolutely wonderful. The truth of the matter is, I'm just a hanger on, and I'm going, yes, we're nominated. <laughs> <laughs> just got here, but we're nominated. Oh, there's Lisa there. Yeah. You mentioned Lisa. You know, Lisa McCune's played Pete's wife <laughs> in an episode yeah, of his show. Yeah, TV, my TV wife. Are you looking after her? Well, we, we, we have much more chemistry, she and I. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Uh, so One we, words uh, after the show. I've, <laughs> I've got a spray of my own, don't you worry about that. But, uh, <laughs> Lisa's, Lisa's amazing. You're I adore really her. Cute. The voice of an angel, uh, I mean, the presence of a goddess, and, and I absolutely love working with her. And she is our golden girl, and she's just fantastic. Um, well deserved. Uh, you're a bit of a foodie as well. I am indeed, sir, yes. And I, I've noticed that uh, you tweeted the photo with your daughter, uh, Indigo. Yes. Eating out at Perhaps not our finest establishment here in Australia. Where, where did you where did you tweet? Where were you? Uh, we've tweeted just about everything. You well, know? I mean, I, I I'm, I'm a tweet you. slut. Is, are the oh, those, are, those are no, those are my uh, three older daughters. Uh, uh, Grace is. Uh, yeah. At the pancake parlor. <laughs> What's wrong with the pancake parlor? Well, it doesn't make you a foodie, Lou Diamond. <laughs> you guys put ice cream on your pancakes Amazing. here. We don't do that in the states, and so this makes it exotic and makes really? me a foodie. What, what, right? what are you putting them in the bacon. states? Well, yeah, bacon, yeah, 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 all kinds of stuff, but not ice still? cream, yeah. maple syrup, and you know. And bacon. What I mean? You're missing out. Well, I, I, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back and do it on a cooking show and make believe I made it up. This is something I tried at home. Man. Ice cream on your pancakes. <laughs> Hey, you mentioned your wife, Yvonne. She's yes. German, so did you get her here in time to watch the World Cup? First of all, I have to say this. My wife is a fashionista. She's an urban animal. She doesn't know a football from a basketball. <laughs> and and uh, uh, Germany ends up in the finals, so she wakes my ass up at 4.30 <laughs> to watch, you know, the Germans win. I was very happy for her, very proud. It's the only sporting event she's watched in her entire life, and we watched it together, so it was a bonding moment. And can I also ask, when Young Guns, Young Guns, yep. I grew up in, I love the, I love those films. So when John Bon Jovi did the soundtrack for the second one, it's like a perfect storm for me. Yes. Do you keep in touch with the guys? Kiefer Sutherland, Emilio Estevez, Charlie Sheen. Uh, Kiefer, Kiefer and I uh, are still very much in touch. Uh, I run across uh, Emilio every once in a while. It's not good for my health to hang out with Charlie. <laughs> so, uh, What's going on with Charlie? Because he's about, he's getting remarried or something, yeah. isn't he? Oh, he's getting remarried? <laughs> <laughs> is he just nuts? What's the, what, is, what is his deal? Charlie Sheen's always been the same way ever since he was 25 years old. So. <laughs> 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 I mean, he's winning. I'm winning. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You're not going to the wedding then. <laughs> Maybe the bachelor party. <laughs> Yeah. Before we go, we've, you've just wrapped on a film called The 33 yes. about the Chilean miners yes. with Antonio Banderas and Juliette Binoche. Yes. When's that coming out? Uh, we'll see that uh, hopefully globally uh, because it was a global event. We'll see it around the world uh, around December. Uh, it is about the Chilean miners who were trapped in uh, 2009. You could do a lot worse than being trapped with Antonio Banderas. <laughs> you're not, you're not the naughty miner that got caught in that the, love that, triangle. That's really, you? Uh, you guys get the office here. Oscar Nunez from the office oh, plays the oh, naughty oh, miner. Hey. I am I'm the shift supervisor, the the upright, wonderful guy. Uh, I lost 18 pounds uh, in three weeks for this film, wow. and uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful film. And please do go see it. Hey, well, tickets to the King and I are available now. Just. Yeah. Wow.